this as well with my slashers. Probably. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure the job's and, and, one and, and I, I sincerely hope it being Orash, you throw him in his own fire when you're done. <laughs> okay. Same. Ginger. Oh, enjoy this. <laughs> Ginger. Um, did I do well enough to uh, to make the three that came after me stymied? Because uh, that's or... that's what trick does. Page one fifteen. Yes. Uh, well, you you succeeded, but, but I I don't have your total against their their stupid. Well, it was so a total of, it, it was a total of twenty five minus yeah. two for my second action. Um, and I only hit proper room, so I didn't add anything else to that. So that le you said that they were a four, um, but po let's go with Papa Broom first. Uh, it, it he had a thirteen, and I was only one point above that with all of my bonuses, um, and then that would have left um, that would have left six off of my die roll. So that's where the three came from. Um, but a basic success would uh, would make them. Oh crap! Where is that? Ugh. I think they're just, they're just maybe stymied. They're not yeah, very. Yeah, exactly. I think they're they're just a basic stymie. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to make three cultists here. And of course, it only lasts for the one round. So anybody who wants to take advantage of that could hint, 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 hint. Like, uh, uh, say, Peaches. Because <laughs> uh, Toma is about to get ready. What was Peaches going to do? Um, uh, she's going to uh, shoot at one of the, the, the cultists. Um, they, fell, they fell down pretty nicely. Um, they're, they're not, they were, as you said, most of them were getting into uh, melee range, and they mostly missed, so... How many did you say swiped at her when you did your rolls? I'm sorry, I, I wasn't. I um, there were two. there were two that swiped at Peaches, two that swiped at um, uh, Hero, and right. then so. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, but I'm sorry. They're stupid and clumsy. They they are cultists, not warriors, and <laughs> so she's gonna just you know shoot at one point, point blank, pretty much because okay. they closed with her. Um. So. Uh, but good. Okay. she might not have to. Uh, is Thomas Love going to take him up? Oh, Toma. Uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to try to very stymie at least five of them. <laughs> okay. Let me bring up the spell. And it's just going to be just... St oh, wait. I got to target them, don't I? Whoops. Hold on. Let me target one. Yeah, uh, multi-targeting is coming, but it's not available yet. It probably won't be here until about February or March. I mean, no, no rush. We're we're getting it figured out. Yeah, we're getting it done. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, and it's already got willpower and spirit targeted. That's right, right? Let me check the. Uh... I mean, it doesn't really say what it needs to be on the spell, but it automatically came up when I uh, clicked on the spell roll. Yeah, um, it, it, any spell that you've got should automatically um, be able to defeat its own uh, basics, but not necessarily gotcha. the basics of the target. And there's no, there's no like multi-target penalty for the spell, right? Since it is large blast radius. Uh, well, it, you you should read it. Um, actually, let's see. It was in the. It's. Uh, let me go back up to this. Okay, a wave of arcane energy overwhelms. May, may not multi-target. May not multi-target. Well, it's, that's because it's, it's already multi-targeting. Yeah, it's just it's just a large blast radius spell. Yeah. So I just roll. I don't have to worry about the multi-target penalties for the spell. I don't know. Right. Ginger, do you have anything for him? Uh, no. Go go for it. Okay, doke. Here we go. <laughs> wow! Yes! Oh, that's. Um, <laughs> it, and I, I can say that you, you know, the three that were, I mean. Yeah. I, I, I think they, they're just, poof, they die. That was a nice roll, dude. They stop breathing. <laughs> and, they're and so paralyzed. Thanks, you got free, and. Uh, <laughs> 
How much shock do you think the, the other two well, got in your standing success? They don't. They don't take shock. They're, uh, let's see. They're, they're very stymied. Very stymied. Uh, affected targets lose their entire next turn <clears throat> because of the outstanding roll. Okay, so... Um, good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, three are on the ground. I think they're out cold. They might rise up again because you said it just does, uh, shock. It doesn't do it's, any, any damage. It, does, it, just, it just makes them very stymied. That's all it does to the targets. Yeah, uh, okay. it's like it freezes them. Hey, Ginger, if you scroll up a little bit in the chat, uh, to the, to the oh, last thing oh, Toma posted. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's really cool that those things can get loaded into the chat. Uh, also, may I draw a card for my successful taunt? Or trick, I mean. I'm sorry, you were saying what? May I draw a destiny card for my successful trick? Oh, yes, of course. Please, anybody who succeeded in an action, put one in your pool um, so, so far. And anyone, uh, like, uh, uh, let me get Penny up real quick and let her take a shot at a cultist. Um, let's see. What, what are the three that are very stymied? I think they're just out cold. Uh, are you talking about the three that were coming after me? Uh, yeah, that, that I I, I'm assuming he, he aimed at them already. Well, I, I don't know if he was trying to do five, or, yeah, five others. Um, were you trying to do five others, Remy? Or were you, I mean, uh, Thomas, what, Toma, were you trying to do five fresh cultists, or were you trying to aim at some that were already slightly damaged? Yeah, I was, I was trying to kind of go for some five fresh cultists. Alrighty, so five are very stymied. I will take <laughs> <laughs> So at least until <laughs> at least until they act next turn, yeah, um, they're stymied. Gonna, so yeah, these guys are gonna fall all in the crevasse themselves without having wait to. A, wait a minute, was <laughs> that more, was that stymied or vulnerable? Very, it was stymied. It's it's very stymied for the spell. It's not okay. Just... Yeah, bummer. Uh, it'll be easier oh. to hit, and they'll be harder to hit us. But that very vulnerable could have helped on the next round. Uh, yeah. Too bad the spell doesn't do that. <laughs> no, but uh, th they're um, they're gonna fall on their own machetes next round. Thank you. Huh. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I am gonna one put one that one. in there. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, I follow by a barbarian who wants to go into a battle fury. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you know, man, go with what you know. Just, just one what more. I. That's what I just feel like getting excited for this. It's like I'm ready for a fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, things are fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. We're all fine. How are you? <laughs> Stupid <laughs> conversation anyway. Um Let's see. Okay, so I've got his card and I put one into the pool, so I'm ready for next turn. Um Penny needs to uh let me see Peaches shoot at somebody grab a cultist. oh I want to shoot at somebody I want to <laughs> put a bullet in somebody <clears throat> sorry I, I couldn't um, resist so difficulty because they're closed in and they're closing on you um, I just need to kill somebody oh, tonight yeah. <laughs> yeah. so Holy um, smokes. standard success one cultist suffers two shock Okay, so on this coming round, we're really going to need to figure this out. <laughs> We've got all, right. all kinds of good stuff here. Uh, was that it for the good guys? Uh, nope, I haven't gone yet. Oh. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to raise pop-up room up 10 more meters. And then I'm going to turn them 180 degrees. So he's facing downwards. <laughs> and let him go. To fall oh, 20 whole meters. You, you are so mean. You are so mean. I love it. <laughs> it's great. Which, by Toric falling damage rules, that is 20 damage plus one bonus die. Oh. That's just damage he takes. You've been getting an education, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, here. so, you know, There's he might. So that's 23 points of damage right now. How's he looking? <laughs> How crushed is his skull? Um, I'm going to say uh, that he lands 
you know, uh, he, he tries to catch himself with his arms and legs, and so they're both, they're, they're all for break, obviously. I mean, you have white bone showing through skin, you have, um, uh, you know, uh, are, they're, they're kind of bent at all the wrong ankles. But someone who's already dead has suffers no shock. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> and uh, it but, didn't cut off his head. But again, Ginger, this is against his toughness. And yeah. Oh, yeah. He's pretty mangled. Um, let me I, see. His toughness but, was. But how many not wounds did he take? Oh. Yeah. Um. I, I didn't technically, I, I, although I have a, a, a bill sheet down and I only put one wound down for him, it has to be a cold shot and it has to sever the head. Not this is my cold it. shot. I turned him upside down for his head to hit first. Yeah, yeah. and I said he, catches him, he tries to catch himself with his arms and legs, which a person can successfully do. If it crump, if he can still crumples, he, it can still hit his head hard enough to break it. Break it like an egg. And his neck. The neck bones. Yeah, but, yeah. It, yeah, but that, I mean, Ginger. His head will pop at all kinds of weird things. I know you, you want. Sever, I know you, you want to keep the bad guy. He's sever a super head, special and, bad and guy. <laughs> sever the head and he's dead, but you did. You, you, how you, much you, damage is he taking? How many wounds has he taken? Uh, he, does, he, he doesn't have toughness? any wounds listed. You have to. What's his. What? Then but taking one good. wound kills him. Taking one wound would kill him if, yes. if he weren't already dead. No, no, wounds don't work that way. I'm sorry, a wound is a wound is a wound. I'm sorry, you are caught a cultist who's already dead mid-ritual. <sighs> this is a cult power at work. Jin? Sever the head. Sever it. Jin? He's, he is a, a puddle of flesh, Did but sever the head. Did his neck get broken? Uh, we can roll and see, but then his head would just flop in an odd angle. Let's see. Um, what would that be against? His what? Uh, what his toughness. Well, him? I mean, like, how big of a wound are we talking about? Is it just his arms, or is he literally turning into a pile of goo? That's why I uh, keep asking for I'm his saying, toughness. I'm saying he's crawling around like a crab and feeling no pain. He's dead already. Well, yeah, I, but he can still die of wounds. He can still die if, you, if you sever his head. Patron That's the only way it's going to work. It's it's occult magic, and you are in Orosh. And <sighs> it, it's it's got to be a head separated from the neck. Think Highlander. Oh. But right, so he can't he can't go anywhere, right? Uh, he can very slowly. He doesn't feel pain of trying to, to crab along on his broken arm. That's why I'm now asking how much of a, how much of a wound, how many wounds is he taking? How much it, That of a doesn't matter, is Connor. He? And I'm telling you, Connor, the only thing that's going to stop him is severing his head. Okay. If he has no okay. bones. It, okay. Let, let's just get over there and sever his head. Start killing cultists yeah, and let's have, get over there and, and sever his head. You're going to have to close with him we, and sever we just, his head. There we are, we are enough, given no options. Yes. We are given are no options but to kill every single innocent cultist here. Uh, mm-hmm. These guys are honestly trying to kill you, and it, they are completely corrupted. They are not innocent. No one's truly innocent. They are not innocent people at this point. They are actively participating in this ritual, and they were hoping, you know, the the... The women. Okay, then let's just do it. Enjoying their 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 suffering and pain. So uh, this is Orosh. They are monsters. Doesn't matter. And uh, they don't die like normal people. And in fact, Papa Broom's already dead. So you can you know <laughs> stomp on him, but the only thing you're going to need to do is sever his head. And crushing damage doesn't necessarily do that, no matter how many wounds or how you, how. You can get decapitated by blunt force trauma. Okay, Ooh. okay, Chris. Yes. Um, let's nah, uh, Connor. I'm, let's I'm, just not there. let's just go on. Let's just go on. You've had your say. <laughs> let's just move on to the next round, and we'll kill the.
yeah. and be done. Well, You're gonna have to. I... You're... It's hard. I... You're gonna have to kill the crap out of him. Okay. Now the cultists, on the other hand, they're made of Kleenex. Keep going. Next round. Oh, I hold on. Last thing for my turn, I move as much as I can to get you know, get closer, just so I can decapitate him with my Inquisitor sword. All right. Um, you're going to have to move through all these cultists. They're between you and him. At this point, they've all closed on the doorway. Okay. Only oh, have me rolled it. But now wait a minute. Because I haven't rolled yet. The cultists have all gone this round. Yeah, they're, they've all gone this round. There are no attacks of opportunity in Torg. I know. They they they've all moved. Uh, now, she's asking me to do a maneuver to see if they don't like body chuck me out, oh. stopping me from going. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, he's he. You know, they're between him and the and the. They're and a meat the... wall right now. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. And you've done your turn. You you said you raised him ten more meters and you dropped him. That is what a maneuver or movement is a free uh, action. That, yeah, that was just my telekinesis that I used last round. All right. So you just dropped him from your telekinesis first yep, thing, right? I just canceled that. Mm -hmm. You know, just canceled my telekinesis, which I'm pretty sure is a free action to do. Mm -hmm. And yes. So you have about you know a dozen people standing between you and him. Okay, so I'll just try to maneuver my way through. Like, All right. Here. Roll the maneuver. That's your turn. Getting successfully through the, the, the meat wall is, is in fact, your turn. Are you going to make it harder for, for me, or is it just going to be the standard? No, no, it's standard difficulty, okay. unless otherwise told. Unless I say otherwise, it's standard. And there we go. I made it through the meat wall. Yeah, you have to shove your way past. It is a success. All right, but I guarantee okay, you they're not going to like that. Okay. <laughs> they're tissue paper. Yeah, I get the drama. <laughs> yeah they're, they're tissue. I mean, the reason why Papa Broom is so hard in comparison is because these guys shouldn't scare you. They, they're they they're corrupted and insane, and they were never warriors to begin <gasps> with. Oh, that's right. That's right. Defend... Uh, allows you to get a card just for not being hit. I've got another card coming. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yay! Holy crap! Everybody, everybody who didn't get hit gets one. So I, isn't that like everybody? I think so. Yeah, grab a card, people. Oh come on! Another season initiative. You've got to be kidding me. That's okay. Oh wait. What? Never mind. Never mind. Um, I do have one thing to do before we end this round. Hmm. I want to play my leadership card, which allows me to place two uh, up to two cards, play up to two cards uh, into other characters' card pools directly from my hand or pool. Immediately refill my hand. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that. Okay, I am going to put one seas initiative uh into um uh-huh i want one hey, to go Toma. with huh Toma didn't get hit this round either did you uh draw a card remy my my laptop's uh acting up right now I'm just kind, of, kind of waiting for it to kind of catch up okay let me know when that's okay go ahead play your so, leadership hey, and there we go. <laughs> who, who, who are you giving what to whom? Okay, I am giving the Seize Initiative to Tomislav. I can only play two <laughs> cards. So... I feel special. And let's see. Um, I'm going to... Well, crap. We're in a Rorsch. Who would best benefit? I'm I'm also going to give the Reconnect card to Tomislav because he's super high-tech. Okay, <laughs> so... Dang, <laughs> You might need that if there's another I'm a, series. I feel like a one-man army at this point. Let's do this. Come on. Could be. And then I get to refill my hand. So I've got uh, two, three. Make because sure I only four. had one card in... I only had one card in my hand left over. I've got the Seize Initiative in... Um, in in my pool that should be the only one that should yep that's the only one that shows up so i've got one season initiative tomislav's got one season initiative oh i just got a master plan yes okay the connection card that i've got your hero knows someone in the area who can lend aid uh as soon as that one goes into my pool i'm gonna i'm gonna play it 
Uh, so I, I'm done for the round. I have my four cards in my hand and my one card in my pool. You want to roll for your for uh, Larry and uh, I'm sorry, Larry's dead. Oh, uh, Mo and, and Curly. Mo and Curly. Yeah, yeah, I can there do that. Are, I can come on you too. I complete. I always forget about those two. Now, where is? Okay, so let's see. You can do it. <laughs> So let's see, I am going to aim at this cultist with Curly. I completely brain farted these guys, sorry. Um, with fire combat. Now wait a minute, why didn't he... Huh. So, okay, so what is the... Uh, what is the dodge for these uh, uh, bad guys? Uh, the bad guys. Let's pull up a fresh one. Mm -hmm. Dodge um, or Dex? Dex is seven. Seven. So, okay. So we'll go, and then that. Okay. No, no, no. That's got to be a minus one. For okay, if it's a seven, then I've got to take an easy eight minus one to make it a seven. So roll it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Ooh, standard success. Uh, oh, I rolled fire combat instead of the actual weapon. Um, hang on a second. He has an M4 carbine. Uh, so that is... Okay, he was shooting. He has to shoot. To, yeah, so that that's as it is. No, uh, I, I should have clicked on the weapon itself because that would have imparted the damage. Um, oh, I did not use a long burst because I didn't declare it. His fire combat damage is a 13. So no bonuses. To their... That's to what? Uh, how, what do they do? It's if they're, they're... Okay, what's their toughness? Their toughness is... Toughness is 8. Okay, so 13 minus 8 is 5. That's one wound and two shock. Okay, we got another one down. Another one bites dust. And another one's gone. Maybe did. Well, you've got him as unconscious. That's a tough cultist. <laughs> Let me take that off of there. Hit that right there. There you go. You go bye-bye. Okay, and then Mo. Hey, Mo. Okay, now, Paul, roll the weapon, you yuts. Okay, where is his weapon? M4 carbine, M16, targets Dodger dexterity. Okay, that's why it didn't come up before. And another 15, so that's one wound and two shock. Ooh. Hey. Uh, hey. Mo and Curly uh. are worth something. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, they sure are. Um, this is for you, Larry. <laughs> this is for you, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you got one. Uh, you got two. All right. Now we're, are we ready for the next round? Anybody doing anything else this round? Are all of our cards squared away? Everybody got a card in the pool? Everybody got their cards from um, uh, that they're supposed to have from defense at least? Oh, I guess Penny uh, Peaches should draw one, right? Yes. For a successful uh, defend. Let's see. Let's draw a card. Ooh. She's going to put this one in the pool. Alrighty. No, actually, she's not going to put that one in the pool. She's going to put something else in the pool. She put close call in the pool. Love that one. All right. That is a good one. It is. It might help you out since you have your creeping horror that is Papa Broom at this point. Yeah, he definitely a creep. He is a creeping horror, all right? So, I mean, he's 
He's an Orashian horror. Um, and uh, the, these these cultists willingly uh, serve him. <laughs> So, uh, next turn. Let's uh, find that combat checker. So, if I need to, I will use C's initiative, but let's see what the card says. They regroup. Uh, we okay. are, I guess, in our... See, now my cards didn't change. Yeah, same here. Okay, so, for, for practice purposes, uh, please go to your combat tracker, Miss Peaches. Uh, Miss Ginger, and hit the round, uh, the rounded arrow. I did. Did does it change now? People? It did not. That's very interesting. No, I've still got the battle as mine. Uh, hold on, let me save something. I'm I'm writing in my notes furiously. Um, so let me close these things, and I am going to reload, refresh. It may be that the server is going kind of slow. It came across on my GM screen, though, so... They regroup? Yeah. We are in dramatic skill resolution. Um, inspiration. Yeah, okay, Villains it showed up. Are inspired. Heroes are... Uh, neither, but uh, villains go first. And I, I want to take this point... Mm -hmm. uh, to say... Um, I, I, I rolled it. <laughs> um, there is a rumbling in the ground underfoot. Not enough to cause anybody to fall on their butts, but a, a sh kind of a shimmy in the ground that you're standing on. You felt that. You felt that. Everybody felt that. Um, and you know that cultist that had popped up out of the crevice it was like, woohoo, yeah! Okay. A tentacle. Uh, oh no! Uh, wraps around him and hauls him right back in. Uh oh! Oh Ooh, no! Ah! Oh, Cthulhu! <laughs> you guys play Cthulhu, uh, don't you? A lot. No. Me? Uh, see, I, I do almost that? play Seriously? Down to a game. <laughs> What, what what was that, Ginger? Me? Who me? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be. Okay. Then who? Hey, who? I, you know what? Just for this, just for this, when I do the Halloween game, it's going to be a Halloween game. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look. You know, I, I created Papa Broom just for this adventure. He is a Cthulhu, based on a Cthulhu horror, obviously. Oh. So is all the ritual sacrifice and everything else that's going on at this point. Uh. <laughs> I ever tell you, uh. I've never played Call of Cthulhu, but I've always hated the game. <laughs> Who doesn't like to go insane and die in a fruitless and hopeless lack of success Ooh. and Ooh. just I, you know I found a reason I need to play that card um, uh, the C's initiative card how did I why did I close hero I should just scale him back okay I want to play the C's initiative card so we can get a different card on there Okay, season initiative. Play at the beginning of the round, and nobody's done anything yet, to keep the current drama card for another round, or flip a new one after the card has been revealed. I am playing that card, because we need to get the heroes to go first. Alright, new round then? Uh, you know what? New. Yeah, you could make it new round. Um, damn it! Sure. Okay, well, the villains get to go first, so that means that our... Uh, our plan. Hey, we have a flurry. Well, hang on a yeah, second. But, you are flurry. but at the end of this, at the end of the villain's turn, all of those stymies go away. Oh. Yeah, oh. I was I was trying to keep those, but having a flurry is probably just as good. And attack and trick are our approved actions. Let's get it done. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's start cleaning okay. up. 
There, there is one cultist and one cultist only who is not uh, stymied or shocked or dead. <laughs> well, that just means they're going to have a harder time hitting. Uh, yes, but what he's doing, um, he is running. Uh, well, sorry, he's only slightly. He's only stymied, not uh, very stymied. Um, he's headed toward the bamboo arch. He's broken away from all combat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh -oh. And, uh... Oh, yes, and, uh, one poor guy fell in. So, uh, he's, he's gone. I'm gonna delete one. <laughs> so, one is okay. moving. And, uh... You've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Closing on you. At this point, they figure you're the bigger threat than Rios and Andon and uh, Jib who are running for the boats. Uh, you guys, there was a quake, a bit of a quake. Uh -huh. So I need you to, again, make the same roll that you did before, just to make sure you don't fall flat on your face. We're talking uh, about a basic dex check? Just a basic, yeah, athletics. As okay. As soon as my laptop comes up. Oh. The terrain, right. again. The, the terrain is bad. Okay. I want a laptop. Oh, oh. man! <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we roll at standard difficulty or eight? Uh, y just standard difficulty, unless I other I say otherwise. And uh, there was a little bump in the in the earth. Remember the earthquake? And I can't. Okay. On a, Dilapidated dock. Oh yeah, you guys go flying. I mean, uh, the the boards kind of turn springy, and you 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 will reach the boats next round. Okay, uh, PG, uh, uh, Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who to call. <laughs> I answer to that now. Of all things, that's crazy. <laughs> I am going to spend a possibility, and yeah. and uh, and and do my role. That way I can stay up because it's going to count this turn. Yeah, there oh, wait, you go. So I need to do a uh, dex check. Too? The, there was an earthquake. Yeah. So yeah. So do I need to? Yes. Yeah. Everybody does. Yeah. Did I, I roll for Andon as well, or was the roll I did for myself good enough to include him? You're, you're, I was including your your whole party. They're they're kind of following your lead and stepping where you stepped after that first board broke. So. Uh, okay. You did very well, and as long as they they follow in your footsteps, they should be fine. Not step on any broken boards or fall through the dock, you know, that kind of thing. Ginger, do yes. you, should we roll for the remaining cultists? Uh, ironically, I think they'd probably die, but well, yeah, we should. Well, <laughs> um, I you, you roll four and I'll roll four? Uh... Yeah, I'll roll four. I'll start at the top here. I'll do the bottom What roll. happens to me? And that's just a... Mm. That's just a, a dex. Uh, standard oh, standard. yeah, what am I doing? Okay, uh, I need to go back to stats. They don't have athletics, so dex. Um, why am I not rolling? Hello? Ooh, all the minor, like I said, these guys are made of tissue paper. Three. I'm gonna have it done in just a second. Never um, mind. Chris, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, these uh, guys are flotsies. I, I failed the test. What happens to me, Jin? Um. Well. Uh. Oh. Oh my. One guy's really. Um. One guy's do doing the uh, Fred Astaire thing. Okay, now let me try and roll mine because I'm having some real difficulty here. I had to close the cultist and bring him back up. So let's see. Oh, I've got, I've got them all. Uh, two, I, I've, I've only got two left. Which one? You just rolled one? No, I, I, I'm rolling. Are, are you rolling for all eight? Yeah, I almost, I'm oh. almost done. So okay. let's see. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'll leave the last one to you then. Here's seven. Wow. They're clumsy. They're. I mean, I made Papa strong because these guys are are are, you know. Huh. Uh, he, he's a custom villain. 
You won't find them oh, in any rule. Jeez, that's a real <laughs> failure. Um, so, question: um, What happens with uh, their? Are they stymied? Are they? Um, are they vulnerable? Uh -huh. Um, uh, let's see. The one who succeeded at was this was the only one who was sty uh, merely stymied. Well, he's now very stymied. Okay. All right. So, uh, um, everybody else, uh, uh the, the, everybody, the one who failed, uh, I'm succeeded. Yeah. He stays, he stays, uh, where he is. Everybody else, if they weren't very stymied already, um, so do they count as prone? Yeah, they count as prone. And okay, many... there there is a marker in that with all the other markers for prone. Let's see, and I rolling over and I don't see prone. Well, you're not supposed to roll over. You're supposed to right click. Um, right click. And then go over to the radiant guy at the right. Assign status effects, and then prone is down on the second row from the bottom. Second. Uh, icon from the left or from the right. I mean, it's the it's the guy that looks like he's upside down, right next or to the falling. Yeah. Skull. yeah. And then Chris was asking what effect uh, it has on him. Um, you are stymied this turn. Okay. Just... You're flurry. You go. Um. Oh, wait, he went. Uh, he went from. Uh, sorry, he is no longer prone. He's not prone. He went. Uh, one succeeded. He was stymied, um, but he succeeded. So he didn't. One was uh, another one that was also stymied is now very stymied, and all the very stymied ones are on flat on their ass. Okay, are they going to maintain their very stymied through next round? No, uh, um, they're Cause... they're. There is no penalty for prone. Oh, um, their 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 actions this turn, their simple action will be to stand up, stand back up. Um, they are since they are all very stymied, they're all at a hideous disadvantage. Um, already. Um, in fact, let's see here. Um. I am going to say that they've all kind of clustered together. So three of them can uh, do nothing but stand back up. One of them is booking it towards the, the sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And that leaves only one, two, three, four in your face. Okay. Well, two are prone. Three... Uh, Two on that prone. bottom. Well, two on that bottom row are prone. And two of them. Their simple action will be this turn. They go first, right? So they're going to stand yeah. up. Um and uh, and uh, swing at you with their machetes. And Machete. there's still four people in the doorway, right? Correct? Am I not? Uh, correct? no, no, you're not correct. Because Chris is outside to the right. Um, I am beyond Chris from from the right hand side. Uh, then you've got Toma. I can't. Uh, Remy, did you say you stepped out to do that, or were you just casting that from the doorway? No, I, I stepped out. Okay, and then Peaches, as far as I know, was still in the doorway. Okay. Which One's going left... for Eucharist. One is going for Peaches. Um, I think there's Larry and Mo. I'm sorry, Mo and Curly. Mo and Curly are in the doorway, so one is going after no. Mo. Mo and Curly are outside um, uh, the the way to the to the left. Uh, All right, so yeah. they're going to start chasing after the um, who's closest to the door. If it's not, uh... it's Peaches and Toma, Peaches. as far as Peaches. I know. Peaches. I moved, I'm, I moved away from the door. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one's on one's on Peaches. One's on Chris. Um, and so who's who next is closest to the door? Who would say they are closest to the door? That's going to be between I mean, Toma and Chris. I um, went up closer to Papa Broom, so I've... I'm, so, yeah. You, I, I was going to say. You shoved past him and contributed to the uh, dog pile that is... Oh, that's right. 
Um, so one is one, but one is is turning, you know, the, using their simple action to stand up and and and, and charge at you with a machete. Um, we can we can do you first then. Um, you roll machete. Uh, he he misses you. He rolled really well and he missed you because he's very very stymied. And I take it his stymie goes away. Um. Uh, yeah. The the let's see. You've got one that's both stymied and very stymied. Uh, that's that one that you're over the top of. Um, so probably his basic stymie goes away. Um, but the very stymie would be on until they're, until the end of his next turn. The rest of them have their uh, stymies go away from last turn. Stymies go away, go away. Um, and they're no longer prone. They're picking themselves up. As okay. Part of their action, and they go first, so um, they couldn't, you know, maneuver or anything. But uh, I might need to write myself a combat script for further games because I keep, I always forget to remove uh, my stymies and vulnerables. All right. So, um, yeah, uh, he's gonna flat out run, but then one, two, three, four. So we got one, uh, two of them that are still have a stymie in place. But uh, Chris, one missed you. Um, one's gonna hack at Peaches. Roll him. And it's a good thing these guys can't hit with a, a you know, the broadside of a barn. Um, you, uh, Toma. Let me find your token. He's right here. I'm right here. I'm 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 kind of camouflaged in the pile right there. Oh, there you are. There you are. Hit you with a machete, or at least whack at you with a machete. In your face. And uh, he does nothing more than like a sport chest bump at you. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are really, really worthless. And then as combatants, anyway. Um, you know what's funny? We may not even need that flurry. <laughs> you probably don't. <laughs> uh, like I said, these guys, um, uh, they're, they're cultists, not warriors. They're not ninjas. They were simple islanders before the whole... Mm -hmm. uh, before so they all... Rush twisted them. Yeah, before Rush got to me. So they all miss. Now it's your turn. You guys are up. Okay. Um, uh, I, I, I am going to say that you guys didn't manage not to fall down. So uh, do you want to keep running? You will reach the boats this turn if you want to go. If, if Your heroes are up if you want to go first. Rios. Yeah, okay. So um, you have your choice. There are two boats. There is the one you came in. And then there's a, a nice kind of a, a sailboat cutter. Which one's bigger? The sailboat. Jib's boat. All right. We'll go for the bigger one because that'll hold more people. And I think we will be leaving with more people than we arrived here with. Hopefully. Be a good idea. All right. That's the one I'm going for. Which stat do I roll? Um, this is just your uh, again. It's it's athletics. Roll for the group. Okay. Um, you you rolled rolled it earlier to to just make sure you didn't fall down on your bet from the uh the earth chamois. Oh man. Oh no. Okay, so you managed to you know bring uh, agile keep agilely keep your feet only to have your uh, skirt catch on a on a board. Anton goes slamming into your back. And uh, Jib pinwheels his arms and manages to stop, but before running into the three of you. Uh, but you uh, do not reach the boats this turn. You would have. Wait, to wait, wait, wait. Oh. Um, uh, Chris, you've got a second chance card. Are you holding on to that for uh, a reason? Uh, not particularly. Cat, um, you want Monk, it? I suggest this is what they're doing are simple actions. Um, right now, you have three sacrifices that are still alive. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I would save that uh, second chance card for something more important. You we really aren't even ready to leave yet, so we don't need to get to the boats that quickly. Okay. Okay. If you say so. Yeah. That's what you believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unless all of you can just teleport over to the boats right now. Yeah, you might not need it at all. But, uh, you know, uh, you you have successfully slowed Papa Boom down. Yeah, just slowed. All right. He's dead already. So, so now, in a completely, you know, in a way that, that, you know, people don't move that way. He's scuttling along crab-like on broken arms and legs. There are bones showing through. His head is flopping around and he's laughing still. Uh, how close to sunset are we? Oh, it's only been we're on round three. It's supposed we got up to round four, but it's only round three, so that's 30 seconds. <laughs> so we've still yeah, got five, seen... four minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> Before the sun goes down, it and, and you know, Orosh, when the sun goes down, things get easier for the bad guys. If any of the cultists are still alive, strange things might happen. Oh no! Okay, so let's start a plan. The first part of our flurry, just in, we're we're going to consider that we're doing, you know, the flurry round, just in case. So. I know, going, I know. Hero yep. is going to yell out, um, "Cut its head off!" And then he's going to shoot the shoot at the guy, the the cultist that is running for the ladies and Doctor Lyell. That's what I want to do. What about you guys? You say that sounds. I say that sounds good to me. Pull my Zen slashers, and I'm going to uh, charge towards Doctor Broom and the other group, and try to cut their heads off. All I say, right. Uh, I was. I so, mean, I have the Inquisitor's sword, so I, I could uh, just slash through. Oh, hey, isn't isn't that a blessed weapon? No, I don't think it is. Chris, it would From say that... it. Uh... If it were a blessed weapon, blessed weapon, it would say it. Blessed weapon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I think it's just. Uh, I think it's just a power sword. Yeah, it's just the power sword used by a holy man, but yeah. All right. Well, just just you know that could have been you know that a nice end. That would have been comforting to you at this time. <laughs> uh, yeah. That might be you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's why we really sent it in in the first place to get it checked out for that. But yeah. So, uh, that's what I you know. I plan to do. I plan to try to cut the head off, but. Uh... All right. Remember, he's pretty far away. Um, he was on the far side of the bonfire. Um, okay, uh, and I uh, moved uh, as uh, far the, as the, I the could circle. last round, which is. Uh, ten, ten meters. I no, I moved as far as I could. So that would be thirty. Well, so you should be on top of him then. Well, you know, as far as I could to, you know, and as far as I needed to, to... How far was he away? 30 meters, you no, said? No, he so was 25. Your... No. He was 25. 25, and Chris had to go out to meet him a little what bit. Is, what is, what is, what uh, is Chris's, uh, range? My, motion. yeah, range of motion, 10 walking, 30 running. All right, but if you run, you well, arrive, he... what? I was. I already moved last round. Yeah, he moved. He moved I, last turn, I, and it's not. I it's not stymied. It's a penalty hit. of two to yeah. hit, but that wouldn't affect this round because that was last round. Yeah, he moved past the cultists. Yeah, but you didn't say you moved. You, you. I said I moved as far as I could last round. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so you should be up on him. Are you gonna so... try to chop his head off? Yes. And if you guys fail, you can come in and help. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to target him. I forgot that for a second. Target. 
And now I roll. And roll. Oh, I forgot to men put in the called shot, but uh, I need to. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you failed. Uh, <laughs> Second chance here. Oh, right. that's right. right. That's how you should play that card. Try again. Okay, and now... And yes, it needs to be called shot, which means it's a difficulty four. Minus four. Uh-huh. Okay, hold on. You're um, not trying to stab him in the, in the eye. eye. You're trying to cut off his head, which is slightly large. His neck slightly larger than his eye. Yeah. So, so called shot minus four. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Vital area. I uh, I would say yeah. I but yeah. It, ginger. Yeah. <laughs> it's his <Called> neck. <laughs> yeah. Minus four. The difficulty is minus four. Okay. Uh-huh. And roll. <laughs> I already looked that up. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, but you rolled okay. an eight. I'll spend a possibility. Da, 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 da. There we go. Two that shock. Better. Yep. What? No, uh, he's already dead. He ignores all shock. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, I'll use my uh, spa- no situational awareness to. Uh, oh, that's right. You haven't used your situational my awareness hand. yet. Oh. I the grace. oh yeah! So I get a bonus die. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. you. That's a nice. Nice, one. nice use of that card. All right. Um. Goodness <laughs> gracious! I, yeah. I, I want to do something suitably gross. All right. <laughs> You don't have to. (laughs) Um, So you you successfully. Oh yeah, you successfully cut off his head. It goes flying, and these whippy tentacles start spraying. Instead of blood, these little whippy tentacles start crawling out of his neck, uh, whipping Uh... all directions. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Um, the smell is horrible of death and decay. Something that's been dead for weeks. Um, you play uh, too many video games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, they push their way. It pops out of the torso with a wet, sickly sound. And you have some kind of articulated bug with these throbbing, venous tentacle things um it's uh laughing in a tenny high-pitched version of papa broom's laugh as it goes scuttling off um Wait, where it, was it was it in the neck or where yeah oh. it was crawling up out from his spine and uh, popping out his dead neck in a pool of black ichor it's so no longer it was blood. in his spine he wasn't like in the neck area proper no it was down along his spine um, okay. And uh, this was like a laser sword going through. So. No, no, it's, it's, <laughs> it'd be nice um, if 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 it weren't so sickening already. And um, it takes the uh, necklace that had been hung around the neck of Papa Broom, and making you notice, uh, make a willpower roll against. Fear. Just make a real power roll. If you do better than ten, um, you're fine. But you notice way too many details. <laughs> um, oh. Okay, you failed. Um, you're still gonna notice the same icky details, but you're gonna fall back on your butt because this will give you nightmares. You know those wriggly, horrific, pod-like things that you saw the very first. Day of opening day. Think back to when you were on the ferry. When lizard men that were strangers to you were dragging corpses off. Oh, gas pog kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> and there's a, a gas pog seed falls out of the pouch. Oh, crap. And 
you recognize it from all those days ago. And um, this little thing takes off running toward Charlie Lyell with the seed prominently in its tentacles. Um, the rest uh, of us haven't acted yet. <laughs> that is true. I still ha also have my second action I can do. Well, the, yeah. the flurry? No, you... Yeah. We're, we're, no, you, all of us are supposed to go first, and then we I, do the second round. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, it, it, it's not like it was unnoticeable. And, and, uh, Papa Broom's decomposing body starts to just kind of sag and deflate, and with these wet... <laughs> and, and technically, that creature can't move yet. It's not its turn. Uh, no, it just kind of snatched up the the gospel seed and it started to try to take off. I mean, you're falling on your butt though because you 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 got startled. You got like you know jump scares in a movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're on your ass. You're prone. Un uh, does it give you any you'll have understand. to you'll have to. Oh, but also understand, it's still right there where it was in yeah, for you're, you're, actual rule-wise. Yeah, you're so, toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. It's not a good thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it hasn't actually moved yet. Or toe-to-tentacle, whatever. Huh. You know, if, if tentacles looked like, you know, your aortic vein and other vein, major veins from your body. Those kinds of tentacles. So, um, Remy, you want to go next? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna try to strike one down with my Zance Blasters. 